The book of Acts has some great stories of God's people on the go with the gospel. One of the stories that I particularly like is that of Peter and Cornelius. Take time to reread chapters 10 and 11 and you'll see the wonderful way in which God brought Peter and Cornelius together to the moment when Peter could comfortably preach the gospel to a room full of Gentiles and through the power of the Spirit, new disciples were born. But what made me think was the way in which Peter recounted this event to his critical fellow Jews in chapter 11. If you look closely at verse 12, you will see what could be a bit of a throwaway line, but indeed was a significant fact. Peter mentions the fact that he took six brothers with him. Six plus Peter makes seven, and this was a significant number. In Egyptian law, it took seven witnesses to prove a case. And in Roman law, seven seals were required to validate a document. Peter, his Jewish friends and his Gentile audience would have known this and it would have carried weight. So this illustrates how important it is for us to know our audience when we share the gospel. We need to pay attention to the language and terms we use the way in which people to whom we witness might hear the message, the questions they might ask and the problems they face. That will require us to do our homework. Let's pray for the help of the Holy Spirit to do this well. Father God, please send us your spirit to help us to know how to share the gospel in the right way, such that its power to change lives will be there for all to see. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.